Anthony. Good evening. We're taking a closer look at the state of education in the Queen City, where the school district has received a good chunk of federal pandemic funds. That's right. Now the big question is how to spend all of that money. Now we're taking a, we're talking about $300 million. Now earlier this month, the school district released a proposal explaining how it plans to invest in education. It's money that must be spent by the end of September of 2024. But as 7 Eyewitness News senior reporter Eileen Buckley tells us there is some community backlash on the proposed plan. But it's a sham. It's smoke and mirrors. And what we have in front of us with the district's plan is um, the great Albert Einstein's definition of insanity. One by one, members of the Buffalo Equity Coalition testified on Tuesday, raising concerns about how the Buffalo Public School District will spend almost $300 million in American Rescue funds. Earlier this month, Buffalo Public School Superintendent Dr. Kreiner Cash issued this proposal, calling it a sea change for the district and a chance to get students back on track following learning loss from COVID. It includes spending 60% of the funds on academics, helping students catch up, relying on acceleration, not remediation. In other words, moving a student into the next grade level. But we know the last time that children were tested by the state in 2019, 75% of our children were one to three grades behind. I could not disagree more with you, sir, though, on the value of acceleration for all children. District leader Will Carestis attended the hearing to respond to concerns and to clarify any potential misinformation. Acceleration doesn't mean you take a second grader and you move them to third grade arbitrarily or a fourth grader and you move them to fifth grade unprepared. It means that you work with a student where they are and rather than focusing on remediation only. The coalition is made up of community stakeholders, pastors, parents, educators, even students like Tamisha Walker, the former student representative on the Buffalo School Board. Walker says the district can't help students if student voices are not heard. Because one of the things I went through this year was being silenced and feeling like I didn't have that voice or wasn't capable of speaking up. Carestas told those who testified and the Buffalo Common Council members he took notes on all the testimony and it will be included in stakeholder feedback. The draft still needs approval from the Buffalo School Board. This diverse group of community stakeholders says it wants more inclusion and meaningful engagement to make wholesale changes for city students to be successful in the future. Eileen Buckley, 7 Eyewitness News. Eileen,